Got a new one. New Marv antenna. I'll just go through and show you everything real quick. So, we're putting four batteries right here. And then we are putting in our, a multi plus right under, <laughs> up under there. So, I'm going to kind of spin you a little bit so you can see up under there. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. So then we've got some automation things that are gonna happen right in this area. Auto gen start, uh, is, uh, this box for the Magnum, pulling that out, going, uh, the MultiPlus is gonna handle it. This is a Dometic. If the temperature gets so to a certain point, it will automatically turn on the AC units. And then the backup is auto gen start just in case. So we're automating that into it as well, as well as our automation box. And then back here, we have the solenoid to link house and chassis. We're going to monitor the chassis and the house on the 712. There are the two, uh, probably AGM. Yeah, those are AGMs. And, um, then let's go on the roof. This might take a minute. The vertical ladders aren't, aren't much fun. All right. So we've got an itty bitty little panel right here. Tiny panel. And we've got three existing 100, four, four existing 100 watt um, flex panels all this will be coming off and then this will be coming off and turning into the combiner box and uh, probably where we'll run some stuff down we're getting uh, 990 watts of the wreck and peaks and then we're getting three I think the 100 watt panels just to get to 1200 watts. I think that's it. So if there's any more, I'll let you know. Uh, we'll have to do two separate arrays because the four Reckon Peaks won't fit up here. So yeah, but room to grow. ask me why I don't like these panels and this is a perfect example so got my heat gun it's off it says that it's almost 65 but it's about 20 degrees low but the important thing is I can go like this 64 63 64 63 so the whole te temperature of the roof is about the same now, if I come over here, 123, 122, 128. So, I'll have to address this with the client and let them know that the roof is pretty bad for right now. So everything has gotten cleaned. There is a lot of bracket. This here is actually flaked and bubbled up right there. And this, all of this over here is on the verge. Bubbling. So 
he's re researching what to seal it with and we'll get it sealed and keep installing. Solar hat today. So anyhow, um, we have uh, three Record Peak 990 watt panels. These will go up today, and then we also have we we're running into a time crunch on getting the 100 watt panels um, to make up the difference uh, because the dimensions on the roof can't fit four of the big panels. So, we have uh, Solarland SLP112M. They're 51 by 51 and a quarter by uh, a little under 21 inches wide, but 100 watt panels. So, those will be going up here shortly. And then uh, up on the roof. We did get all of those removed. We've got the area prepped and ready for uh, Dicor acrylic. And as you can see like right here, that's really bad. I mean, it's the point that's, that's letting water in. That would be uh, doing a lot of damage very shortly. But I'm gonna coat it with some acrylic, get a few coats on it. Then we'll uh, let it dry tomorrow morning. We'll put up the uh, the panels up in that area. They'll, they're going to cover that spot, so it'll be fine. Anyhow, uh, what else do we get done? Pete got all the battery bank done yesterday. Uh, he's just finishing up the uh, connections, but everything's in there and mounted uh, for uh, Battleborn 100 standard configuration and then uh, I got the inverter removed the existing magnum removed and uh, just gonna make sure we have the battery bank in place first before I go ahead and switch out over to the multi plus anyhow uh, I'll give you an update on where we're at with things either at the end of the day today or tomorrow morning. Hey guys, so as I am sitting here editing the video, I'm like, hmm, where's the rest of the footage? So between the the fires and the heat, um, Mike and Pete had been working out in um, 100 plus degree weather. Um, it had stayed about 105 when we were in Reno during that time. Unfortunately, he didn't get to wrap things up for you guys so I just wanted to do a really quick wrap up so they did the acrylic on the roof uh, they did several layers Mike didn't feel like it was a good enough seal though for for his mind you know we're gonna treat somebody's rig better than ours so therefore you know we want to make sure that it is sound of course so uh, he also did a turn -a bond over the the acrylic as well just to make sure there was no issues okay so that happened and then so he w when he was talking about the 100 watt panels uh they had the client had ordered 100 watt renogy compact panels they so he didn't end up putting the solar land panels on that was a backup that 
we got through northern Arizona wind and sun and they uh, they weren't quite as efficient and they were different um, uh, dimensions so anyway Renogy panels did come in so that was what uh, you'll see on the roof here it's the three 330 watt panel wreck and peak panels and then there are also a three Renogy four actually I think four uh, Renogy 100 watt panels on the roof thanks so much guys catch us next week